Hi, John here. This is not a regular tanning industry webinar. It's a kind of a special post I want to make about being selfish. And what I'm talking about is that um, about four weeks ago, I lost my brother, my older brother, the last of my nuclear family. I'd lost my mother and my father and my brother all to smoking. So I had been selfish for years trying to tell him and the people that were closest to me to stop smoking. I have never smoked. Not that I am particularly virtuous all my life, but it is something I thought didn't make a whole lot of sense. So in my brother's life, he started smoking when he was 15. He died when he was 76, 61 years of smoking. He and his wife, uh, my sister-in-law, who I think the world of Carol, she also smoked along with them. Between the two of them, I calculated they smoked well over a million cigarettes in their lives together. They used to say <clears throat> that if secondhand smoke could kill them, they would have been dead years ago. Well, crazy logic. So they smoked each other's cigarettes too. And it's something that um, I'm obviously having a, a tough time with accepting his loss. He was a um, he was a terrific brother, uh, you know, defended me and protected me and taught me many things, um, whether it was framing or drywall or electrical or whatever. He was uh, the guy was just a very, very talented fella. And uh, it's real tough to lose him, particularly. Um, I guess 76 seems awful young to me. I'm going to be 73 in February, but particularly, I think, over smoking. So my message is one about being selfish. If you want to hold on to the loved ones that you have and they have an addiction, then let your selfish instinct kick in that you don't want to lose them and just start bugging the crap out of them to get rid of it. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law have been very militant about their smoking, thinking it's their right to do that. I appreciate that. But it still has a huge impact on people that love them, like myself. So if you're a smoker, please try to find a way, whether it's a Shantix or whatever that could is, chewing gum or whatever it is. I can tell you that my brother's last six, eight weeks were horrible. He went through... A, a very horrible death and uh, I just wouldn't want to wish that on anybody so I don't want to be a downer because I've got a lot of great tanning salon industry webinars coming up for everybody but in this case I'll just say be selfish go to your loved ones and help them to get over their addiction because it's going to kill them and uh, you're going to miss them terribly so thanks for listening